Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and in this lesson we're going to show you how you can just use straight line field measuring to get the radius of this curved item on this balcony and also the length of it and also get these crazy angles. So in order to get the radius of this curved part here, we need to just generate a mark on along the line. So you tell the guys out there field measuring Take the soapstone or a marker and mark anywhere on this curved part of this piece here. And then after he's made his mark, all he needs to do is to get two straight line measurements to this mark in order to get the field dimension. So we're going to do a, a line dimension from the intersection here to here. And that dimension there is 13 foot 6 and 7 eighths. And then we're going to do another aligned dimension from here to the same intersection from this direction. And that's 5 foot 8 and an eighth. Alright, now we know what these other straight pieces are, so I'm just going to copy those over. So you, you come back to the shop and you, 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 the only thing that you know are these three lines here. So, the question is, how do you get this work point here in order to figure out what this radius and length is? Well, you could draw a line this length from this one corner and draw a line from this end point here and rotate these lines and try to get the ends to match up perfectly. It's kind of tough to do that. The easiest way to do it with CAD is, is to use the circle command. Have the field dimension is the actual radius of the circle and you draw these two circles and where the circumferences meet that's where this work point is. So let's see how this works out. So let's go over here and let's draw a circle from here and it's 13 foot 6 dash 7 slash 8 enter. That's one circle and then the other circle we'll draw from the end point here and that field dimension was 5 foot 8 and 8. So 5 foot 8 dash 1 slash 8. Okay, so now, well that circle intersects here should be what this work point is here. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to draw an arc from the end point here to the intersection there to the end point here. Then we're going to use this command called list. We're going to list the original piece and the new piece and let's see how they turn out. So, the original piece is 13 foot 8 and three, 13 sixteenths, and the new length is 13 feet 8 and 3 quarters, so it's off by a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. The radius is 6 foot 3 and 9 sixteenths, and the radius here is 6 foot 3 and 5 eighths. That's also off by a sixteenth of an inch. That could be a round off error with the dimensioning, okay, to cause that. So you're pretty close there with that, so that's how you can get those dimensions. Now, let's take a look at this other scenario here. We need to get the angle here of these different lines. So what we need is this work point here. We know what this length is here. Let me copy these over here. I'm going to erase these circles here since we don't need these anymore. And we want to get this work point here out in space. So one dimension would be a line here to there. 6 foot 2, we can get that. And then we'll take a dimension, let's do an aligned dimension, say from here over to the end point here. And that is 17 foot 2 and an eighth. So let's draw two circles and see how it works out. So this one here is 6 foot 2, so we'll draw a circle from here, 6 foot 2, and then we'll draw a circle from this back corner here. And that dimension is 17 feet 2 dash 1 slash 8 enter. And let's draw a line from this point here to there. Now let's take an angular dimension of this line here and we see 26.5. Let's try this one. Angular. 
here, here. 26.5, dead on it. Okay, now, let's get this work point here, this intersection here. So, we know this, we can measure this here, if you'll measure this, so the, that measurement is, oops, we don't want linear, we need a line. Let me erase this. A line dimension is 5 foot 7 and 5 eighths. And let's take a field measurement from this corner here to here. And that is 16 foot 3 1 16th. So now I'm going to draw, let's erase the circles here, we don't need these anymore. And to get this work point here, we'll draw a circle from here. And the diameter, the radius is 5 foot 7 dash 5 slash 8. Enter. So then we're going to draw a circle from here. And the dimension of that is 16, 16 foot 3 dash 1 slash 1 6. Enter. All right, let's draw a line there and see what happens. So then we draw a line from the end point here to the intersection there and then to the end point there. So let's see how this worked out. So let's erase these two circles here. So we had the angle, so the angle on this here seventy three point seven angle here seventy three point seven angle here forty seven point four angle here forty seven point four angle here thirty two point four angle here thirty two point four just like that okay so having two dimensions of two known points can generate work points for either generating the radius field measurement or the angles. So hopefully that will speed things up in your field measuring and also increase your accuracy. Take care. Bye.